Interview. An interview is one of the most popular investigation techniques used by business analysts. So popular that many think it's the only technique available. An interview is a low-cost conversational technique. The interview could be one to one, one to many, many to many, and I have seen many to one. The interviewer asks the responder to obtain information on a specific topic. Interviews provide a systematic approach designed to elicit business analysis information from a person or group by talking to the interviewees, asking relevant questions, and documenting their responses. It is an excellent technique to discover how people think and feel about specific topics. Also, it is used to establish relationships and build trust between the analyst and stakeholders to increase stakeholder involvement or build support for a proposed solution. Soft skills such as asking questions, interviewing skills, group facilitation, conflict resolution, and similar activities are essential to acquire as an analyst. Speaking of soft skills, let me talk a little about active listening. When I mention listening as a skill, many people wonder what can be so special about listening. Well, everybody can hear, but not everybody can listen. Active listening means ask your interview to repeat the central ideas, themes, and summaries to assure a complete understanding. Do not interrupt or attempt to formulate replies, contradictions, or counterexamples while the speaker is talking. Do not draw a conclusion until you have heard the whole story. Accept the understanding is not agreeing. Do not be afraid to ask if there is something that you have not been told. When people talk, listen completely. Don't get distracted doing other stuff. Most people never listen. Asking questions is not an easy task, as some might think. Understanding the person you're interviewing. Knowing what you want to achieve as a result of the discussion and understanding the whole project context are key factors in deciding what to ask, whom to ask, and when to ask. As an analyst, you must dig deep and scrub the surface of the customer's requirements to understand their actual needs. One of the techniques is simply asking "why" several times, which can reveal the real problem that needs to be solved. Ask open-ended questions to help you understand the user's current business processes, and see how the new system could improve their performance. An open-ended question is a question that cannot be answered with a yes or no response, or with a static response like A B C. Open-ended questions require longer responses. Do not ask questions about the obvious or the happy scenario, but always ask around the exceptions. What could prevent the user from successfully completing a task? How should the system respond to various error conditions? Ask questions that begin with, "What else could? What happens when? Would you ever need to? Where do you get? Why do you or don't you? And does anyone ever?" When you're working on a replacement project for a legacy system, ask the users, "What are the things that annoy you the most about the existing system?" This question helps to get the bottom of why a system is being replaced. It also surfaces expectations that the users hold for the follow-on system. The idea here is not just to write down what customers say, but instead, a creative analyst suggests ideas and alternatives to users during elicitation. Sometimes users don't realize the system's capabilities. They get excited when you suggest functionality that will make the system more useful. Interviews can be formal or informal, and they can be closed or open as well. A closed interview is where the stakeholders respond to the predefined questions. In contrast, an open interview has no predefined agenda. The analyst needs to carefully prepare for the interview to avoid wasting anybody's time and get the most out of the meeting. Last, there are common interviewing mistakes that we need to be aware of. For example, one. Not interviewing all of the right people, where we might miss different points of view of stakeholders. Two, asking direct questions too early. For example, asking how important is list view over grid view is a direct question, while asking how do you prefer your files will be displayed is a better indirect question. Three, interviewing one at a time instead of in small groups. Users cannot think of everything they need when asked individually, but will recall more requirements when they hear others' needs.
This will also reduce the spotlight on the individual and usually produce more interesting answers. And of course, you shouldn't let one participant dominate the discussion. 4. Assuming that stated needs are correct, I usually doubt everything I hear, so I work on confirming everything one way or another. 5. Trying to convince stakeholders that you are smart. Wrong place to do that. Instead, you should take every opportunity to show that you think the stakeholder is smart.